Hi guys, welcome to SHK Excel World. So we have been going on with a new series on mail merge. In the previous video, we learned how we can send standardized letters to a list of recipients either by editing individual documents or by sending the document directly to the printer or we can send that letter through the configured email with just one click. So today we are going to learn how we can use this mail merge tool for automating another process which is fairly cumbersome and has to be done on annual basis. So if you are from NHR background, this video is specifically prepared for you guys. So we know from our experience that a company has many employees and each individual is given a reward in shape of increment, bonus or promotion at the end of the year. So it is very difficult to type a new letter for each individual employee and also ensure the accuracy of the figures or the performance rewards. And these letters are unfortunately not printed by the financial information system, the payroll system or the HR information system which the organization uses for processing the payroll and related matters. So it ends up with using Microsoft Office application. So the mail merge tool helps us to overcome this issue, uh, though this is not like sending standardized letter to multiple recipients, but still mail merge can be used effectively just following the process. Uh, let me tell you first that this is a Word document which contains a standardized letter in respect of the performance appraisal of an employee. but. A few items have been highlighted which we are going to generate in an excel table and then we are going to follow the same process for merging this document with the items given in the excel table. We have highlighted the inside address which contains the particulars of the employee and then there is a standard para which states that appraisal process was carried down on this date and afterwards there is specific performance statement in respect of the employee to whom the letter is given that on the basis of the APR, we are pleased to or regret to inform you, so these words can be here, that your performance for the said year has been excellent, average, very good, and you have been awarded with an increment of this much percentage, and also you have been given a bonus of this much amount. Additionally, if the person has been promoted to a new position, there is another message. So all of these items can be produced in an Excel table on the basis of policy by using Excel formulas like if and VLOOKUP. So let us see, we have already generated an Excel table which contains all this information with respect to the employees. So this is an Excel table which contains around 1500 employees. So a huge list. So there is a variety of the performance levels of different individuals. So if we click the performance, we can see that it's weak, very good, poor, excellent, acceptable. And for each performance, there is a certain percentage of increment, bonus, and the performance words, the increment words, and then the bonus words. And if the person has been promoted to a new position, so there is a standard line that you have now been given a new responsibility by promoting you to the next level. So if we check the details for excellent. So there is a certain percentage of increment. There is bonus. We are pleased to inform you and an increment of this much amount and you have been awarded with a bonus. And in some cases, a promotion has been given. And if we look at performance rating of poor, we can see that there is no increment, no bonus. The performance is poor. We regret to inform you. There are no increment words and there is wording that you have been you have not been awarded any bonus for the current financial year so in this way very systematically the words have been produced for each individual so a performance letter has to be has to be printed so let us do the mail merge so we are going to open our performance letter and do the mail merge process so first we need to link this mail merge document with the table in excel we know that the details in Excel should be in the form of a table so that mail merge is easily able to pick up the field names which are actually the column headings of this table. So again, go to the mailings ribbon in your Word document and select the list of recipients. Click use existing list because our list is available in the Excel document. Locate your document in your hard disk and just select the file because this is only one file. 
You can easily follow along and can download both the files, the Excel and the Word file from the links given below in the description. So again, we are going to insert the merge fields in the right and insert fields group. There is an activated option now for inserting the merge field and all the field names, which are the column headings are now appearing here. One by one, we are going to select the relevant fields and place them into the standard letter. So the for, for the first one is the inside address. Uh, we can just select the complete one and decide on our own. So we need the first name, comma, space, and the last name, enter. We need the address because the company should be the same. We need the address, we need city, we need maybe phone number, and that's it. So the inside address is now filled. We need to produce the last name, dear Mr. X. So this is a standard paragraph. We do not need to change this. So this is specific to each individual employee on the basis of APR, GUI, the words, regret or please to go to insert merge field. And this is the heading words and to inform you that your performance for the said year has been. So the column which states excellent, very good needs to be here. So this is the performance one increment words and an increment of this much. So increment words column needs to be here. Then the increment percentage column should be here. This is the increment percentage has been awarded as a result and the bonus words first and a bonus of and you have also been awarded with a bonus and of this much amount or bonus amount. So this is a bonus amount. And lastly, we are going to produce the promotion words. If in case the person has been promoted. So in this manner, we have merged the fields in Excel table with our standard letter performance letter. Let us preview the results from preview results group. Just read it out to see if everything is in place and in proper order. So this is the inside address there. Video on the basis of APR, we are pleased to inform you that your performance for the set year has been excellent and an increment of 16. I think we should uh, hard code or write the text as percentage An increment of 16% has been awarded as a result. You have also been rewarded with a bonus of 46,000. So you have now been given a responsibility by promoting you to the next level. In this manner, you can just scroll to the next in. So in cases where there is no promotion, the complete sentence has been moved out. Otherwise it looks fine. Use any of these three options to edit individual document, to print the document by sending directly to the printer, or you can send emails directly to your staff by using the email address given in the list of data in Excel file. So hope this will help you in processing the appraisals very fast and very timely. Do not forget to subscribe to SHK Excel world and do provide your feedback for future videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.